So Jal Kumar Sen and in this uh, video tutorial we are going to learn about Lemnitz or first order linear differential equation I must say that we will talk on linear differential equation and uh, this video is dedicated to only gate examination yeah if you are preparing for university examination then even you can uh, take this video as a reference because if you can solve gate problems then I am sure you can definitely able to solve problems related to I mean those will ask in uh, university examination just like okay so what is most important in case of Lamnitz uh, li or linear differential equation for first order so first of all you have to find out integrating factor for finding out integrating factor we have a formula that is E PDX. Now, what is P? What is E? e you know that. But and another formula is that I e to the power I integrating factor and uh, integration of Q multiple I F uh, multiple DX plus C. So in this way you can solve it right now. I mean these two formulas are most important to find out first order linear differential equation. But yes, the how to get this. Uh, P and this Q integrating factor you can find out here so basically what is uh, P and Q whatever equation you have given in the problem right so I will share with you how to do that but first of all basic you have to clear dy by dx P y is equal to Q whatever linear differential equation you have given in the problem you have to write that equation in this form that's why we can get the value of P as well as value of Q in that way then we will get this value and put here and we will get the answer what we required right so in this way you can solve first order linear differential equation and of course lamb Lynch equation that's really important it's a it's a important form right so basically if you are preparing for it this is important this is an important topic in mathematics so don't worry I will share with you two medical problems so though both of them already asked in previous year alright so let's go for those problems that's why you will understand much more uh, better way with practical approach right so let's go for it yeah right now you have a question and in this question what we have given solution of differential equation we have given an equation that is x uh, that is this uh, let me write dy dx plus y is equal to x to the power 4 so what what I have shared with you in this case what doesn't matter what equation they have given you have to write in this form dy dx py is equal to q so what you have to do you have to uh, divide both side by x then we will get this dy by dx y by x is equal to x cube now compare these two equation so what is the what is the value of p here 1 by x and what is the value of q here q is equal to x to the per q okay once we got these two values that means we have done half of our, half of our job now here in this question we have also given a condition that is y 1 is equal to 6 by 5 what is the meaning of this that means when x is equal to 1 in that case y is equal to 6 by 5 this is important because it will help us to find out the value of constant term that is c because here we'll get you know this is indefinite this is an indefinite uh, integer we are going to do just after this so we need to know about it right <coughs> so this is about it now what we have to do we have to first step to find out integrating factor for finding out integrating factor we have a formula that is e to the power p dx so e to the power p means 1 by x dx so 1 by x dx integration log so natural log x is equal to log e that's why you can write this as x right this is simple mathematical rule I am just applying here you need to know these rules if you are preparing for gate examination because implementation implementation of basic rules in gate numerical problems that be mathematical or any other subject that's tremendous I mean you will have to implement those basic concepts just like here we have implemented this one log one okay so it's x now now what we have to do we have to implement the equation number two what I have shared with you already let me show you again 
so what we have implemented first this one then we have implemented this one now we are going to implement this one so this is y multiple integrating factor integrating factor multiple q dx plus c now y multiple integrating factor is x and x multiple d uh, q is what we call x q dx plus c now it's x to the power 4 dx plus c so after integration what will go get uh, 5 plus 1 plus c so we can say this y x is equal to x to the power 5 by 5 plus c now even by using these two values we can get the value of c so put the value of x here is equal to 1 so x is equal to 1 multiple y is equal to 6 by 5 is equal to 1 by 5 plus c send this value to this side so c is equal to 6 by 5 minus 1 by 5 is equal to 5 by 5 is equal to 1 that means value of c is 1 right so what we can do we can rearrange this equation x y x is equal to x to the power 5 by 5 plus 1 okay just send this x to this side so what we got y is equal to x to the power 4 plus 5 plus 1 by x so this is the uh, equation we are getting the differential equation we are getting here after the solution so we have to match this equation the all given values options right so look at the option number d you will get the same what we got the answer in this question so option d is the right answer for this question now we'll go for the next question in the same topic in this same topic that's why you will understand much better way about Leibniz or uh, first order linear differential equation so this is the question this question also ask in gate previous year okay uh, i have taken only previous year question because these days i am creating mathematic videos related to mathematics and other subjects also gate point of view as well as numerical point of view because if you wanted to study theoretical things you can study from anywhere but to understand uh, uh, numerical you need to have visualization otherwise it's really difficult i mean at least if you're beginner then it's really difficult now let's go for the problem so what we have given in this differential equation we have given dy by dx is equal to 2xy is equal to e to the power minus x uh, square right now what we have to do we have to compare with that standard form dy x plus p y is equal to q now compare these two equation after comparing what we got basically p is equal to 2x and q is equal to e to the power this now first step we have gone through that is comparison a step this is a step first okay now step second go to this step in this step what i have to do i have to find out integrating factor for finding out integrating factor we have a formula that is e to the power p d x so e to the power p d x p is equal to 2 x and d x after integration what will get 2 multiple x square by 2 okay then this is cancelled so e to the power x square is the integrating factor we are getting here now what we have to do is step 3 we have to go for step 3 that is the uh, you know almost final step if you will go on through this step definitely you can get right answer so step 3 is here step 3 what I have to do y multiple integrating factor integrating factor multiple q dx plus c so what is integrating factor basically e to the power x square q is e to the power minus x square dx plus c this one this one get cancelled y integrating factor x square so what we got here dx plus c we got here well probably I have gone through a little fast but yeah this is really easy you can easily understand because it's a 12 standard thing that's why I'm going a little bit fast okay so that's okay now <clears throat> now what we got here dx uh, integration is x plus c now what we got here e to the power x square now we have to implement the condi condition that is here given here what is what is the meaning of this x equal to 0 when x equal to 0 y is equal to 1 so put this these two values here to get the value of c so uh, here y is equal to 1 x 0 is equal to 0 plus c so c is equal to 1 now put the uh, this value here so what we got from this equation that y multiple e square is equal to x plus 1 if i will send this to this side what will happen e to the power minus x square x plus 1 so this is the answer we are getting here 
so now look at the option we have given 1 plus x yeah yeah this is the right option a is the right option for this question so this is how you can solve uh, mathematical problems related to Leibniz or first order linear differential equation in my in my upcoming videos I will share with you more related to gate problems so stay tuned keep watching and if you like the video share with your friends that's why they will also get help and don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye